Hey everyone and welcome. We are about to start the semi-finals of the pre-modern spring fling. I have a guest co-commentator with me named Lester. Say hi everyone. Hello. Um, he's going to be helping me out cover this match, so let's jump into it right now. The players, Flint and Remy, they've shuffled up already and so uh, they're ready to go right away. Uh, the decks that uh, are playing. Flint is playing the Four Color Lands deck, and Remy is playing what he calls a Suicide uh, Black Mid Range deck. So, Lester, what do you what do you think of the decks that they're playing? Um, I really like the Four Color Land deck. It was uh, way better than I thought against the Blue White deck. Um, I think Remy's deck is a little bit is a little bit bad game one here, um, but I think his sideboard is pretty good. He's got some some instant draws or instant wins. Yeah, kind of the so, thing that we talked about in the blue white match is the blue white player had cards that deal with creatures, and Flint doesn't have any yep. creatures. So, uh, a city brass starts off for Flint, and then um, Remy starts with a swamp, and then happily pitches a die block edict to cast the uh, to cast an unmask. Yeah, best use for that card here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much all it's gonna do. Um, so, in response, Flint is casting an enlightened tutor. And he's putting it, the exploration on top. So here's an instance where uh, it's good that the tutors put it on top of the deck and not in your hand. <laughs> but um, so his exploration will be safe from the discard. And I mean, it's it's also kind of possible that. Well, I was say I mean, it'd be interesting if Flint like just had a bunch of lands in his hand after that. But yeah, so he has an undiscovered paradise, a wasteland, a Russian import a Gamble, and a Seismic Assault. So he gets to choose between the Gamble and Seismic Assault. So what do you think is more important to take? That Assault has to go, yeah. yeah. So. Yep. I think in this here, Flint's just going to want to play board control yeah. until he, he takes over. Well, I guess he can kind of choose based on either the texture of his hand or kind of how Remy is playing aggressive. Because, like... Right. I mean, obviously, if there's ever a negator that resolves, then Seismic Assault is something you want to get into play as soon as you can because that can really yeah. mess up Remy's board. And um, But other than that, I mean, like, if... The game can play out kind of, like, against... Like, if there's not enough pressure from Remy, then Flint can kind of just set up, play some Horn of Greeds and Explorations, and just kind of just gain a card advantage and then eventually kill him out of nowhere. Yeah, the negator is actually going to be a pretty interesting game one because uh, it can get rid of that arena if if he gets low on life for any reason. Mm -hmm. I don't see him getting low on life. Well, I mean, that's only if it's dealt damage, and the only way it's being dealt damage is if it's from Flint, right? Right. So. Oh, there we go. Okay. So ritual out a negator. Um, that and yeah, after the seismic assault is gone, and an aligned tutor has already been used. So there's two more, I think, in the deck, and one more gamble, and three more lane tutors. So that that's really the most important card right now because Blitz on a four-turn clock. So. Yep. I, though I guess the other piece of interaction he does have with creatures is the glacial chasm, and that could buy him some time. I think he's got a couple of man lands too, just to chump block in case he needs to. No, right? he, do, he doesn't have any. Oh really? I thought there was some mishras. Fair enough. So yeah, the the biggest difference between this and the last match that Flint played is like against a blue white player, he pretty much had all the time in the world. I mean, the blue white if the blue white player is attacking with the lands, then that clock's just not fast enough. Here, Remy is he's the clock is it's real right here. So the, yeah, the Nantuko shade can be five power. So um, and drawing that city of brass is actually yeah a hindrance. That, well, yeah. I guess I haven't. Um, I'm way behind. Let me update the life totals. Uh, good thing that uh, uh, Remy has his phone that I could lose. That's one right. I always, always forget about. Now, that shade's going to be pretty nice, too. Um, yeah, I mean, it can come down quick. And then, quick. Like, yeah. Yeah, he can just think his mana. Because here he's attacking for 10. Yep. Flint's, Flint's taking it. And, I mean, he's pretty hard. I don't pressed. know if there's. Yeah, there, I don't think there's anything you can. I mean, the chasm, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it would be it would be possible, but it, it would need to be a very good sequence of draws. Right. So a quick, quick one zero to um, to Remy, and so they are playing a best of five. So the 
the decks aren't going to change for this next game. So I think both players are kind of on the, the same plan. Are they playing the rest sideboarded then? Yeah, one and two is unsideboarded, and then three, four, and five will be sideboarded. So Flynn's deck, it looks like he's just going to possibly side in the two cards, right? Um, the Elephant Grass. Elephant Grass, Compost. Let me bring up the list. Uh, so... I think it... I think maybe just those two cards and probably guess... just take out like the gambles, maybe. Yeah, so Flint's deck I have up on the stream. Um, uh, I think Humility is good, and Ivory Mask is reasonable, though it's kind of slow. So I guess the thing about Ivory Mask is it's kind of like probably going to come down after the the discard spells are revenant, relevant, but I think Humility is a card he wants. It's just, it's uh, you just got to wonder what he's going to cut. He's got to cut possibly mulch, trade routes. I don't see that getting cut. Possibly he, gambles. He can cut a few lands. Um, yeah, true. The, maybe the guy is blessing. I don't know. So the black deck just wants to bring in possibly more negators. And What do you think about therapy? Uh, I think you you do want therapy. Um, well, obviously the Diabloch Edicts would come out. So yeah, and possibly yeah. it's it's kind of torn on the massacres because you kind of want them against the seismic assault, but then they're kind of slow too. Yeah, I think they're fine. It's just a, a bigger threat. I the other card you would bring in is Cavrex spite. spite. Yep, for and sure. Just there's no counter spell, so I think that's just something you would. Um, maybe a, maybe a wretch just to get a two drop in there. Yeah, that's a possibility too. The therapy's not great, as we saw there. Like, you take out one or two cards, and he's got nothing but lands left. Yeah, but, but I mean, without those cards, Flint's deck doesn't do nearly as much. Like, if there's no Horn of Greed, then, then Exploration is a lot less good, because um, right. Flint can play out a bunch of lands, but since Remy's going to be attacking him, he doesn't care if he has the mana advantage. If he doesn't have the cards to set up a kill, Remy's going to but um, so an exploration is starts uh, for Flint, and then he plays a Wooded Foothills, and then a, a similar sequence to the first game, a Diabloch Edict gets pitched to the Unmask, and we see I think that's a Seismic Assault, Seismic Assault, yep. Barbarian Rank, Conclusion Forest, Undiscovered Pair. So again, the Seismic Assault is taken, and a Funeral Charm. I guess I mean, yeah, make him discard a card, but yeah. The Barbarian Ring goes. Flint doesn't really need to take extra damage. Oh, he's thinking about oh. it. Revolution Forest. So yeah, I guess Flint doesn't really have anything going on but, but lands. That's going to happen sometimes. But um, yep. if Remy just falls up with like a 2-drop and a 3-drop, then we're kind of in the same situation as his last match. Uh, this is a best 3 out of 5. So Dark Ritual Massacre. and oh, Scuda. Uh, a Scuda, so he'll happily pay three life. And once again, a four-turn clock is presented to Flint, so pressure's on him for him to do something. So he probably just goes in his moat, I would think, here, just in case he top decks an assault. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think the reasons he needs a bunch of green mana and just exploration and summer blooming. Oh, he got the uh, forest. I mean, maybe his thought process is by the time I need to cast seismic assault, I'll draw enough, and we'll have. I mean, there are a lot of red sources. There's city brasses, the undiscovered paradises. And... Yep. Here comes the Hornet Creed. Yep. Yeah, this is this is what he needed. So Wasteland comes down. Oh, so I think the targets in Remy's deck are there's a couple of Wasteland and then there's four mission. That's our Riftstone portal. So that it only taps for colorless, but it's if it's in the graveyard, then all of Flint's lands 
that for green. He's going to crop rotate it at some point, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's probably hoping to get like a glacial chasm. But the the thing yep. he has to worry about is Remy has. I mean, there's only two wastelands, but kind of scary if you're holding out on a glacial chasm and the wasteland comes down from Remy. Right. So yeah, you can't them. bang too heavy on it. Uh, Oh, so we're we're in combat right now. Oh, what do you think there about? you go. He wasteland his own portal. You trying to get threshold so that he can activate activate barbarian ring, or is he casting a crop rotation? Yeah, he's casting a crop rotation. So a lot of lands have been destroyed on Blint side for him to get this. Yeah, that's a ton. This is a glacial cap. So. With this card, when it comes into play, you have to sacrifice a land. And it says prevent all damage that would be dealt to you. But then it also has cumulative upkeep of pay to life. So he's not taking any damage right now, but uh, the clock is now just based on this land. But, I mean, I think what Flint's planning to do is let this tick up a few turns, and then he has the option to just sacrifice it and then get another one or crop rotate this one away to get another one i think he's just hoping to stall remy not take any damage from his creatures right now and then hope to build up his board so do you think it was a little too early to play that crop rotation I'm I'm kind of I'm a little bit shocked he played it that early. Did he what what land did he sack to the chasm? Did he sack a land? Um, he got rid of a forest. It looks like. Did he crop rotate the forest? No, he crop rotated the barbarian ring. Oh no, not the barbarian. So he it was the forest that he crop rotated. So he wastelanded his own riftstone portal so that he could tap the barbarian ring for green. Yep. And then he crop rotated a forest away. Here's another exploration, so potential to draw a bunch of cards. Life was paid in it. Kept that around. But yeah, as a lands player in its turn three or four or whatever it is, it's only got I mean technically there's four lands in play, but one of them doesn't do anything. Well, it does tap him for mana now because he's got the portal, right? Or because he's yeah. got the Riftstone portal. Oh yes, 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 you're right. Okay. So at least he at least he didn't lose mana there. Okay, I guess that makes that play like a little less all in or reckless. I don't know, but like I mean, yeah, yeah, he's he's done a lot less mana than I guess I initially thought. But I mean, that was definitely a big chunk of mana being okay. being spent there. So what are we gonna go get with this? Probably Horn Agreed, I think. Horn Agreed, fair enough. Because once it's in play, I don't think Remy has any cards to deal with it. And no. Yeah, I think his plan is just to hope this Glacial Chasm doesn't get wastelanded, and then he's going to kind of sit it out and eventually probably get another one and get rid of this one, because it goes 2-4. Yeah. Four life was paid. So Hornigree comes down, and Flint just has... Well, that card's not a land. Not, not a land, so uh. he passed the turn. So. Looks like it's a summer poem. Oh, is that his last card? Oh. Yep. That one could be good, assuming that he draws a land. Well, he's definitely going to get three three chances here with that oh, undiscovered. Yeah. Yep. Um, so six life is paid. Flint keep the has him around. Yep. He did cast the tutor from the Barbarian Ring. It, he has a Riftstone portal in his graveyard, so it makes his lands they all are able to tap for green or white. So here comes two more cards. Lots lots of cards. Yep. And we yeah, we do know about the summer bloom, but and um 
that could be huge right now. Yeah, yeah, because it, it really it it does both in terms of drawing him cards and gets him ahead, like gets him enough lands. I mean, I guess he doesn't really always want the lands in play unless he draws uh, trade routes, unless those lands are undiscovered paradise. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's always the lands player wants to play lands. And this is potential six more cards here. Well, I mean, if he gets a like another enlightened tutor, then it could a lot more than. <laughs> yeah. So Russian import and wasteland, and he still has another land that he can play. And if, if he draws he... another summer bloom, then. Or if he draws his elephant grass, they can get out of the chasm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good way. Yeah, because. Um, yeah, because it, it, it allows non-black creatures to pay two for each attacker, but black creatures just can't attack. Yep. So, I was going to say, Remy has, Remy has two mana, but um, that doesn't matter. Playing a black deck. Yeah. Real old school attack that elephant grass. Yeah, I guess even if they weren't black, uh, Flint has some Christian imports. Yep. I guess I we, mean, get, we get another, another land here. Another Simon Blue, maybe. Nope, trade, trade routes. routes. That's an interesting card. I mean, is so. Oh. so is, now he just oh he can pick up the chasm and turn. That's pretty good. That's cool. Um, and now play it again. He still does have the cycle land, but um, he'll only have to pay two life on the next turn. You should draw another two cards, of course. He used the last land drop. Yep. Usually he takes the die off. Hopefully, the gear doesn't. Looks like you got so many cards you got to discard now. Yeah, so it was a good turn then. <laughs> yeah. All right. No ports on upkeep. That's. I mean, yeah, I guess there's no reason not to. But um, I guess, I mean, discard spells could make a difference. Oh, okay. Oh, now he wants to do it, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, is there a benefit to waiting? Because Remy played the... The Mishra's. Metric. I mean, he probably... Because if you respond to the, the draw triggers from the... Greed, he still can cast it on his main. All right, a Phyrexia Arena has entered. I don't think that that's going to play too big. Of... At least Flint's got a clock now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only 17 more turns. Right. I, I, don't... I know this Chasm can just get bonus every turn before before paying life. Well, but then you, you do have a sack of land every time then, though. True. Because so. at this point... There's no, like, card that, I mean, I guess he could be afraid of Wasteland. But he, you still have to play it anyway, so. Yeah. Um, you're not really afraid to go to five. Like, he's. Looks like he's returning it. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, there's not that much of a downside, because if he has to play it, he can just sack a land. Or, I mean, picking it up. Isn't that big of a deal because he can? I mean, I'm assuming he's gonna try and kill Remy this turn. You kind of want to pick up lands with trade routes, anyways. So yeah, I think he's. Why? Not yeah, oh, I, was gonna say, I was gonna say, why doesn't he just tap the chasm? So. <laughs> yeah. No life is paid. So he's got like nine cards, ten cards in hand right now before. Yeah, because the uh, yep. Chasm came back, and Undiscovered Paradise came back, and then he drew for a turn. So he should have ten cards. Paradise, a two. Another one agreed? Uh, I was, yeah, I was to say. I was thinking Seismic Salt, but I guess uh, Rift Stone does not make red mana, even with a Rift Stone portal in the graveyard. So, if, if this is a summer bloom, then yeah, I have to imagine like yeah, 
Lin's like probably like ninety percent to win right this turn. I mean, he's either either win or just clear out the board at the very least. What was he at? He's at seventeen. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely got enough to just kill him then. Well, yeah, especially with the trade routes in play. Yep. Three mana, this is also red mana. Seismic Assault is on. Wrist Lair, I think that's right, Lair. Picks up, picks up an Undiscovered Paradise, and then he gets to draw three. Yeah, at this point, he just needs, I mean, six lands needs. Nine uh, lands. Oh, is it, oh, six, does the thing do two? Oh, no, I, it could be, could just be eight, and then he could just make his arena kill him. <laughs> That's is true. That, is, that, is that the style points? Is that the way to do it? Yeah, I mean, you, you're playing the ring for a reason. <laughs> He's a red player at heart, you know that. <laughs> On paper, this deck kind of looks it looks a little, bit, a little bit clunky. Yeah. You're you're just questioning stuff. You're like, why is there summer bloom and not more mulches? Or why is there not scroll rack? Yeah, that's yeah, because on paper it it looks like a deck that wants the game to go long and yeah, the deck can be really fast. So Remy's life total has been depleted. Style points for content all the way down to zero there on the life total. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Now we get to talk a little bit more about sideboarding. I'll, so I'll so bring... he, he left Edix in, which is... No, no, they didn't get to sideboard that game. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. All right, so I'll pull up Flint's. So the the best cards are Elephant Grass and Compost. And those are the cards that are meant for black decks. Those are for yep. sure coming in. A... Uh, the cards that are reasonable, I think, are Ivory Mask is debatable. I think Humility is good. Um, Aura of Silence and Seal of Cleansing are okay. I mean, they hit can hit Masticor, Pyrexia Marina, Marina, and an activated Mistress Factory. I mean, that's not I, great. And it's I like, really don't think I really don't think he's going to waste time with either one of those. To be honest with you, his decks. I mean, I guess he can pull lands, but. He really doesn't want to do that. Maybe he cuts the blessing here too. Doesn't really need blessing. I'm I'm gonna guess gambles probably get cut. Those yeah, those don't seem especially great. because um, if he's worried about disruption, like yep. gamble, like if you have to discard cards, then gamble becomes worse. He could bring him in crop rotation too. To be fair, yeah. If he it depends on like how important he thinks the the glacial chasm is. Yeah, because that that negator is just kind of scary. Yeah, I mean, it's also kind of scary if Remy plays it uh, from his perspective, because if, if Flint's just able to play a, a Seismic Assault, it's a real liability to have a Phyrexian Negator. Right, for sure. So let's go over to Remy's deck. He's definitely going to bring in the Spite, the two Negators. Okay. For sure, those three. And well, So that's three cards, and he's for sure taking out at least four with the Diabolic Edict. Are there other removal spells? I... No. no other removal spells, but probably one of those massacres maybe comes out. Yeah, it's a little slow though. I mean, yeah, I guess it's it's a worse clock it's... than the Scuda and the. Yeah, so yeah, yeah maybe the massacre is too slow that some of those come out. I mean, I think I like Cabal Therapy. I mean, I think your hope is to just get a look at the hand and. Um... I'm looking at Remy's screen. I mean, he had unmasked then therapy, like, which is better. Not shuffled in that factory in his swamp. I think he's still sideboarding, maybe. It's weird to have him face up. Yeah. And I wouldn't sideboard. Maybe he's bluffing his side and those out. It, it's interesting if you even want, like, obviously you want to resolve a hippie turn one, but <clears throat> it's just less effective in this matchup than, than most of the time. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Is less effective? Why do you think it's less effective? Just because it it's land so many of the times. Yeah, because there's so much redundancy built into that land deck. Um, well, it's redundant in the way that a lot of the lands. But if you end up hitting one of those pieces, then his deck is a lot of air in that sense. Because then Flint's just kind of spinning his wheels. Like, if you don't have a horn of greed, then 
he's not doing that much. Right, but those just the way the deck built is built, those pieces are gonna come into play yeah. almost immediately. Other than seismic assault, you might have a little bit of mana issues trying to get that one to play. Well, I mean like but, there's duress and cabal therapy potentially, like right. you're not gonna be able to put a horn of greed. Alright. So I guess we'll find out we'll maybe we'll be able to piece together. Oop, sorry. Um Maybe we'll be able to piece together how they boarded based on what comes up. The spike can definitely make it a, a three, uh, just three attacks from the gate and then spite them out too. Yeah, he, the game could end really fast. Yep. Well, I mean, I feel like you almost, like from Rummy's perspective, you almost want to just be mulligating for Dark Ritual. Because, like, you're probably going to have a Scuda, a Negator, or a Hypnotic Spectre, and you want to get something like that out as soon as you can. Or, I mean, maybe turn on arena. Racing arena. Uh, yeah. So do you put Dark Ritual higher than uh, turn one discard? I think turn both, one discard is a little bit better. If you had both he's, options... Um, he, he's on the play, right? Mono Black's on the play? I Yes. Yep. yep. I mean, if I had a Negator, no. If I had Ritual Negator, I think that's better than leading with a Duress. Right, because there's nothing you can really do turn one other than yeah. the exploration. Well, um, Enlightened Tutor could be kind of an issue. If you, like, on turn two, try and cast a rest, and Flint has a Enlightened Tutor, you can put the Seismic Assault on top of his deck and hide it from discard spells. But that's sure. the only way I think that backfires, but I think in general you just want that quick clock. I really don't think in this matchup you're ever not gonna ritual that negator turn one. Yeah, I mean you're just that's that's what you're just hoping for every game. Yeah, I think some of the times maybe it would backfire, but yeah, it's the yeah. the benefits way outweigh the cost. Yep. So do you think after sideboards, do you think which who do you think's advantaged? I think Flint's advantage, to be honest with you. I think okay. that, I think that um, Remy's deck is quick, mm -hmm. but Flint just has has so much power. Yeah. Do you if if Remy had four wastelands, would that change your opinion at all? It wouldn't. Not for had, this one. Okay, because he only has two. So right. I, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Yeah, he's only got two. I'm only seeing two in the deck. So. If he had match match basic lands, I'd I'd probably give him a, a vote. <laughs> you know, the mismatch basic lands is just tilting. Too much for you, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I got cranky kids. Understandable. <laughs> So is that a mulligan then? For yeah, the Remy, black? yeah, Remy mulligan, yeah. Which I that mean, makes sense. It's yeah. not the worst thing in the world because nope. it's kind of like you're kind of in a small sense like a combo deck in the sense if you want to just power out a creature. But um, because he's I think he's really just looking for that dark ritual. But okay, so the rest starts. Yes. So he's hoping to hit exploration. Horn, here. Horn, horn, there's a horn and an inline tutor. I mean, I think I just take the. Agreed. Yep. Well, definitely when there's two. Um, uh, it would have been. Can you imagine if you went like dark, dark ritual duress and then had cabal therapy? Right. To rip that hand apart. So, Lynn's going to fetch right away. Getting up planes, I think there's one planes in the deck. It has to get Mirage planes, right? Well, he, with two tutors in hand, he has to go get that planes. Yeah, I mean, I think you're opening your own self up. Is he, yep. So he's, he's just casting it right now, right? Yeah, I, I'm. I I wouldn't. I don't know why you would cast it. You can just wait. Yeah, there's yeah, nothing you can do. No reason. Then. I can't can't think of any reason just to wait. But there's no reason to fetch there either. To be maybe just saving time. Doesn't want to get stifled, I guess. I don't know. Right. Oh, mismatched. 
So Remy loses a life, is that what you say? Right. All right, line tutor, is this getting exploration or horror raid? Well, I didn't ask quick. you enough. That was quick. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess he has a second line tutor, so the next one can yeah. get a horn agreed, and this can come down. And both these line tutors are protected here because of the the way that he drew. So you can't, is, you can't so get either one of them. Remy's hand just has to be like a negator, right? Otherwise, I don't think that hand is like very good to keep, right? If you just go like turn one duress, and turn two nothing, and turn three. I mean, maybe Hypnotic Spectre would be good enough, but if you don't have a, have a big hitter, like if he played Phyrexian Arena, do you think that's good enough? No, I think that if you play Arena, like you're just you're just losing so much so much time here. Yeah. Negator. Nope. Nope. Arena. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Fair enough. I, I think Flint's got a lot of time. Yeah, he's got a ton of time. He's gonna he's gonna set up the combo right now. There's another lane tutor. I think, yeah, this is a horn agreed. Yeah, and once this is in play, uh, Remy can't do anything about these two cards, uh, exploration and the horn agreed. No, he's got he's got nothing at all to get rid of them. I mean, Black doesn't have that many options. I think Dystopia is like the only card that's coming to mind, and that only does with the exploration. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, a little bit of a clunky draw on the black part. Yeah, I mean, he did mulligan once, so maybe he was just kind yeah. of thinking, oh, I have a duress, I can take away the engine and then kind of set up shop. and Or maybe he was just worried about mulliganing again and not having enough cards to, to finish the job. But yeah, it, I, I really feel like you need to try and get a turn one negator or, or turn two Skuda or something like that. Yeah, or just pre you just want pressure. Turn one, ritual, dress, shade, you know, anything like that. Sure. So Horn of Greed and then the... And then the perfect land the for it. Risk Grove. Yeah, I think I said it wrong when someone had corrected me. He's still got that... He's got a Summer Bloom in hand, so... Might just go off here a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he wants to wait. I mean... There's already a Horn of Greed in the graveyard, right? So it's not... They maybe try and wait until you get another one, but yeah, I mean... Play some lands. What if Foothills well, comes down? He could potentially just play it if he draws it, too. Because yeah. he's going to have... Never mind. <laughs> Looks like he ran out. Hmm. All right, one life... And one card, extra card for Remy. So what's he gonna have here? Scuda, Negator. I think he's probably got Scuda in him. I mean, that. Uh, Scuda, okay. Yeah. A three life pain. It'd be nice if he had a discard spell here, because he's you know, Flint's gotta be holding something. Oh yeah, yeah. They're they're not lands, so. Right. He's a wasteland. So that. I, I mean, it is tempting to draw, but I'd almost be tempted to hold that card in my hand. Because if, if... Well, he can, get, he can get the Grove right now and take him off of Seismic Assault. I I mean, I would I would be more worried about like Glacial Chasm eventually coming down, and if you play the Wasteland now, you're exposing it to Flint's Wasteland. Like, that sure. could be a card that Flint would hold in his hand, actually. For I sure. I don't think I don't know if we've seen it in his hand, but like that would be a land maybe you would not play in the instant. Oh, so compost. <laughs> that uh, makes so compost is slightly less less good here. Um, I guess it 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 negates any of the discard spells, but mm -hmm. with what he's got on board right now, he's he doesn't have to worry about discarding anything else. Yeah, I mean actually though, um, Remy might have to discard the hand size. Because if he has an arena and the Horn of Greed in play, he true. might be drawing too many cards a turn. So, That's true. And, and it's it's when a black card goes into the graveyard from anywhere. Yep. So that would trigger even if he disc. I hear that that assault's almost certainly going to come down now because... Do we know for sure he has one? Or, I mean, it looks like it I'm based on kidding. his lands. I'm just guessing. I 
We just got him for a damage here. Oh, no. No, no, hungry, damage. no damage. I don't know. Just <laughs> judging by his uh, his actions, it definitely felt like he was announcing, like, I'm taking a damage from this. Me too. Course, <laughs> like, so <laughs> I got yeah. a little trigger happy on the... Um, here comes two cards. Will tick. Run me down to 15. Cards. And then he drew a card after he played a swamp. Oh, he drew two cards in the swamps. So, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of cards in his hand. So yeah. attacking for five. Flint's tapped out. So Flint will take five. So again, Flint's got to have something something not land in his hand. So we've got to discard. Even the Funeral Charm here gets it. Now, would you feel in charm now, or do you feel in charm upkeep, or do you need to draw a step? Um, well, it's interesting with the compost because right, the funeral charm just so either way he's going to draw an extra card, right? Because yeah. Because the oh no, the card no, he discards he discards before the spell resolves. So yep. um, I don't know. So you're hoping to get the action card and make him just draw lands because that's yeah. the best you can hope for. Well, I mean, it's interesting that Black just did nothing there. The mono Black deck aren't lands kind of action in this spot when you have two Horner Greeds in play. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, True. What is what is in his hand that he didn't play anything? Yeah. That... Maybe he's just got. So he's wastelanding undiscovered paradise. Yeah, kind of taking out the engine, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I would still, I would still save that for Chaz. Is, there. Like, if you're not killing him soon, like Flint's gonna draw more lands. Like he has two Hornets right. in play, and his de his deck's like, I don't know, seventy percent lands or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like here's a yeah, here's a glacial chasm. So that certainly punishes the the wasteland that was just used. And now to be fair, the black the black deck is is probably planning on drawing what four four cards a turn at least. Yeah. So he's hoping but, to be able to cycle through his deck. I mean, there's only one more wasteland. Right. Arena takes him down to 14. Shoot. He draws an extra card. Well, I didn't even notice that Assault came down there. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's safer in play than it is in his hand. For Probably, sure. Yeah. Doesn't, can't be hurt when it's on the battlefield against this deck. Yeah. Maybe I mean, do you think the other are there like Forex negators in his hand that he's afraid was afraid to play? I mean, I it just seems so crazy that he had he had like four or five mana and he just didn't cast anything and he's been drawing. He drew like four cards. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Maybe he just got dark rituals in his hand and he didn't want to. Of course, with compost, that's bad. Yeah. Maybe he got the spite in his hand too. He might have spite. Okay. A Master Core comes down. So, Master Core Compost, not the greatest combo in the world. Yeah, I was going to say, especially when there's a Glacial Chasm yeah. in play, that, like, <laughs> yep. it's just a, a draw engine. So, he's able to discard Mishra. a Mistress Factory, so no card for Flint. Right. And then he's passing a turn. So, Flint's going to pay two life, keep the Glacial Chasm around. And Flint's pretty, pretty high up in here with yeah, the life totals. Yeah, I don't, like. I definitely don't like Remy's odds right now. No. Summer Bloom. Nope, a Seal Cleansing. What did he target? It looked like he targeted his own exploration, so I was. He targeted yeah, the he arena. To... He targeted the arena and draws a card from. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you actually want to kill Massacre here because that's gonna get you extra cards every turn. Yeah. Yeah, eventually. Otherwise, yeah, he's either discarding lands or running black cards pretty much. Yeah. Another Hornigrade or something? Or was he just... We definitely paid three mana for something here. 
summer that's bloom. A, that's the summer bloom. So I guess one was for, oh, it was two for the seal cleansing, two for the summer bloom. So yeah. Undiscover paradise. He'll draw two. Man, I just want to play this deck so I can do this sequence. Like the idea of having exploration and two corner greeds in play, it's a good feeling. Yeah. It's it's almost a trap for your opponents too, because I've had a lot of opponents that that think that the horn greed is good for them. Yeah. Because <laughs> like I just got two cards and you're like, um. Oh yep. three. Well, it's kind of like like we talked about standstill in the last match. How some people are afraid to break standstill, but right. obviously the deck that puts standstill in its deck is designed to take advantage of having standstill in play. So it's kind of the same thing as the, the deck with horn greed is probably a better horn greed deck than you are. And it's almost better to break that standstill immediately yeah. because they might have action. They might have reaction cards that got discard anyways. Then, um, so yeah, it's funny because you you see a lot of people just let the standstill deck do their thing, uh, afraid of letting them draw the cards, and they're just that's exactly what they want. Well, psychologically, like after you learn about like card advantage, when it's like they're drawing three cards for for two mana and one card. And yep. it just it just psychologically feels so bad. It's it's hard to break standstill sometimes, but yeah, you just you gotta do it. It's like playing the old ninety six ninety seven decks with land tax. Yeah. Someone plays that and and you'll just watch people just discard forever and then you'll see some players are just like, Yeah, start drawing your cards, I'm playing my creatures. Yeah. It's a yeah, land tax is a pretty miserable card. <laughs> yeah. No, so, I guess so the the difference I guess against some of those is after the second one, you're kind of like, well, the likelihood that you're like putting those three extra basic lands to use. I mean, your deck gets a little bit thinner, but you're gonna have to discard a hand size, and you're only drawing the cards that you're drawing are basic lands. When like standstill right. is likely drawing action or what. So. And you almost like you said, you almost have to discard to either. I mean, not with the standstill so much because a lot of times people let you go, um, and then all of a sudden you get a standstill and couple action like swords of polishers and stuff end of turn or whatever so but remy, like the land tax was different remy moved his life down to 12 so i'm guessing that was riftstorm portals discarded to seismic assault and then a trade route was cast so so upkeep oh yeah got upkeep Flint's ready to the, kill him next turn so, got to upkeep the massacre there so. snow card for Flint. yeah got the chasm oh he's got does he have a Crop rotation. Yeah. Yep. Just, I don't... If this is a, a crop rotation, then I think... Oh no, he just binned it. Well, the Massacore should be dead. Yeah, Massacore should be dead from not upkeeping it. We'll wait, so... Well, I guess we'll... Probably... Too late to intervene, but... I mean... You know, I guess the only card, if it were like a Cavern Spite, that would be. I mean, also, like, did Flint, does he not have any lands in his hand? Like, yeah, I'm, not wanna, I'm like, thinking. Kill one of those cards? I'm, yeah. I'm guessing Remy is scooping. It's, I mean, I don't have that. No, Remy is. No, I'm, Remy's not. He, I think he oh, just no, won he, that game. No, he pumped. Wait, he did he pump? Yeah, he threw a charm to pump, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But. But he just forgot to. Oh. I mean, to be fair, he had he had definitely seven cards in hand, um, so he probably had something he could just discard to the massacre anyway. I forgot about that mode on the funeral charm. I was just thinking that he was yeah. like kind of in like a joking last desperation of like I'll cast funeral charm and make you discard a card. But no, he was no. he was giving the the creature plus two minus one. Right. So that would have been five plus. Yeah, that was 11. But, that was 11, uh, yep. Crazy. Yep. All right. I mean, possibly Flint gets gets a crop rotation off the Massacre discard and possibly can do something with that, but probably not. Yeah, the only thing on the Charm that's not good here is going to be that Swamp Walk. All the other modes are pretty good on that one. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're pretty good, but... I mean, we just only, saw the game winner there. That was the true. MVP of that game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I might say that the Wasteland was the winner, but... I mean, we saw two two Wastelands and one Funeral Charm. 
Funeral Trap ended the game. There were, was there only one Funeral Trap in that game? There definitely were Funeral Trap so. in the other games. Yeah, in all the other games, he was able to dress and then immediately Funeral Trap him. So yeah, he played this little black route there, and it yeah. somewhat paid off, yeah. The other, I mean, I guess I was just doubting because I just didn't think that other that other wasteland would come up. No, yeah, no kidding. I mean, it's possible he had the other one in his hand, like, somewhat early, and then he was okay with, like, playing the second one, or the first one. But, um, yeah, I think that's the most important card in Remy Tech right now. With how he played, that that could definitely be the case, because, I mean, there was a couple turns where he had four or five mana available and just did nothing. Well, it just seems so weird, because, um, like, if that's your plan, like, you're leading with the Wasteland, but he didn't even have any pressure in play at that point, right? He didn't, right, have, that, no. he didn't have the Scooter in play. Like, that play makes a lot more sense if you have, like, a Scooter in play. Right. If you're just kind of, like, tempo-destroying a land. But I don't know. So we didn't really we didn't really see any sideboard cards there, so we don't know if he's got... Like cleansing from Flint. That was one yep. of the cards that we were talking about. Oh, that's about. true. Which I didn't think he would bring in. I guess it is, depends on how... Just, like, what he values and taking out. But, yeah, n none of his cards seem particularly bad to take out, other than the gambles we don't... Right. I'm going to guess that Mulch probably hit hit the sideboard. I could see that. Yeah. It's kind of like a card where... Well, especially like in this matchup, your good spells are going to get discarded from the discard spells. You're going to have land. Right. Mulch is only going to draw you land. I can see Blessing going, too, because that's just one of those cards that... when He only has one Blessing, too. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, it's not it's like... It's not like you could engine it. Yeah, I think it's just... A fail safe if like certain stuff gets countered or like I mean if certain things could get discarded it might be kind of tough but I mean I guess the likelihood of that happening is like if if all three seismic assaults are in like his opening draws not in his opening hand because he would probably mulligan that but right. if he draws them early and they get discarded off then but I guess that's that's pretty low chances. Are we sure it's not and that's just not just uh, a safety net versus a combo decks? But yeah, that that is another option like just against. Brain Freezer, like a Ferrex and Devourer in all through a Dementia. Yep. You know, he did say that that happened one time that um, in the Swiss rounds of of his tournament, someone tried to mill him out and he flipped over a guy's blessing. Nice. So. All right, so we got at least one mulligan from Flint. Yeah. So, I mean... Exploration... Alright, so right, well. Horn of Greed is potentially on the table, but I mean, if you just go turn one Negator... Nope. Mm. Dresses. Oh, no lane two. Yeah, there, there's the perfect draw. So what a perfect draw, draw. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly the sequence that Flint won. And he's gonna just flip over two lands it'll just, Yeah, it'll just be insult to injury when it's just two. Yep. Two lands. After the mask, I think it's gotta be two lands. That's just how, how justice works. I mean, if you think about it, it's probably pretty likely. Oh, oh. Horn agreed. All right. And he knows about the Wasteland, so let's see if um, Remy plays an early Wasteland. This Paradise comes back. Two land drops, he'll be able to... Play the Horner Greed, and then has to pass the turn. So he doesn't get any... doesn't get the first draw. Nope. Buddha? Or Masticore? Negator? Ritual Negator here? There's... See, now, this is where the therapies are just... This is why I thought therapy is not good. Um... Oh, nothing. Yeah, it's just I don't know, I just feel like you'd need to pressure Flint. I mean I guess Shade is like the only card for two mana that you like actually amounts right. to pressure. I mean I'm kinda of surprised you didn't just have a funeral charm during upkeep there or during the draw step there maybe or something. Yeah, that would that would be a spot for a funeral charm. It's basically yep. just a time walk. Well, not just a time walk because Flint has a undiscovered pair. Two cards. 
All right, so is this going to be hippie, maybe? At the rest. Every time we talk about a threat coming down, it just a duress comes right. instead. So I, definitely a risk grove. Hard behind it. Is that a glacial chasm or is that a curve? Yeah, forest? that's a chasm. Okay. All right, so here's Scuda. Here's Scuda. All right. It's kicked, so it's a 5 5. Army goes down to 17. But now there's a clock on play. I mean, but there's also a chasm in the hand. Yep. I mean, I don't. Do you take a hit or do you. I think you take a hit, right? Well, you got there's no ways to take a hit here. You got the engine assembled. I mean, so the the downside is what that you you because let's say the turn that you didn't you were weren't you aren't going to pay the life. You just take damage from Remy's creatures. So if he has more creatures, then you take more damage. I guess that's a downside, but I don't know. Maybe you just. I mean, he ran he ran out really early in that. Was it the first game? One of the other games. Yeah, but he had he had a little bit more pressure there, right? He had seven damage instead of just five. That first game. Andrew, you're asking who the co-commentator is. Uh, it's my friend Lester. Um, he's filling in and he's giving us the the insight of all the pre-modern. He he actually hasn't played that many pre-modern games, but he's he follows the format and he knows a lot about old magic. So. So summer bloom there. Is that an accurate description? Yeah, I. So I actually play a lot of Magic Online, which okay. I know is not very popular with you guys. No, I mean it's. I think it's. I'm. I don't have any problem with people playing Magic Online. It's just I have everything in paper, and it, it's kind of what I'm used to. And so, and it's a little bit more social than than like playing Magic Online. But um, right. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely benefits. I just don't want to look for real cards. <laughs> You have too many, that's the problem. Right. I mean, I have them all. I just don't... Bringing 75 of them together is a difficult challenge. Every now and then I make you put a deck together. Yes. <laughs> I have like four together right now. I just haven't gotten to play them. So now we got trade routes. So now the Chasm uh, isn't as dangerous anymore. Fair. That also... Yep. Now did he sack a land here? Did he... He's got he a drew, land. Drew the card first, there we I go. guess. Yep. Yeah. What land did he sack? He oh, sacked wasteland. a wasteland. A wasteland. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's really dead card here. I mean, as long if he has one, then it, the first one. I think the first wasteland from Flint is. I guess it's not that important because he has. Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Another Scuda. The card. I, I, I think he prioritizes the arena. If he gets arena, maybe. Yeah, I mean. He's got unmask. Is this a free unmask or is this a four mana? Oh, well, he arena. arena. So, like oh. So that yeah, that was a good unmask. That's so a the, nice hit. Other cards are forest and Carpoos and forest. Yep. Here's Massacre. Oh, Flint. Oh. oh, I was gonna say, he... okay, because he kind of put him on top. I'm like, those are still in his hand. I'm watching yep. those. All right, so here's a massacre. So, so he's got two lands. You cycle the wasteland here, or no? Two trade routes. Um, I guess not. I mean, you can always do that next he... turn, right? I guess he's feeling pretty comfortable with that glacial chasm. That like he doesn't really have anything. Yeah. Going wrong in his life. Let's see. Is there a Riftstone portal in the graveyard or no? I don't think there is. I don't believe so. I believe there's the only land in the graveyard is a wasteland, I believe. Alright. So he's definitely still got forest in hand. Yep. Must have done an exploration. Maybe not. Agreed. Oh. Well, it's a right? Yep. Oh, do you think so? Oh, we haven't seen a negator in game three or four. Do you think he took them out? I I can't imagine taking those out. There's just I I can't imagine ever doing that. He's afraid. He has the fear. Maybe maybe he just hasn't. I mean, he, his draws have been yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. 
I think he's I think he's really prioritized that turn one discard if he can. Sure. Um which makes sense. Yeah, oh, he left blessing in. But it's in my opinion, almost like if you have a turn one five five then you don't really need this card. It's possible, but I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big fan of turn one negator against non red decks. Yeah, I mean I'm a big fan of Terminal Negator when I'm playing the red deck too, to be honest with you. <laughs> like. um, I just get scared, to like even against like Blue Eye, I get scared against like a Mistress Factory. I mean, you can just—it's got Trample, right? Yeah, but you have to sack three permanents. I, you don't have to sack the Negator. I mean. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Yeah. I don't care if I got no lands in play as long as I get the five-five, like. Discard dress. That was Mastercard. Yep. A fat shows. One. Now, what do you think about upkeep and negator the, the mascot there? <laughs> um. But Jim, it's not it's not doing any damage, so. Uh, so I think the dress is more valuable than, the mascot there. But I don't know what you're really hoping to dress here. Yeah, I mean, I guess because I think it, his hope is just to draw a wasteland from, at this point, right? Yeah. Yep. And like from this board state, he doesn't have that much time because there's there's like if, if Flint had just needs nine, he has six mana in play. So that's six lands to discard because he has trade routes and seismic assault. So I think you need to keep the mascara in play and hope he just doesn't kill you this turn and you draw a wasteland. Because the game's not going to go very many more turns. And if you discard, if you and if you sack the Mastercard, then there's no way you're winning. I mean, I, I don't even know if you could turn. Sorry, I missed the four life. I mean, he's got 11 on the table right now. That's without pumping the... Yeah, you could kill him if he drew... If he got another turn, well, there's a Seismic Assault in play, so I guess that Makes it harder to deal with yeah. but um, uh, here's a humility. Oh, it's humility. That's cute. Yeah. No more discards. I mean, this is this is sweet. He's got that mask right <laughs> now. Now it's now it looks genius. Not to not so get rid of the, the mask. still is a four four because it's a, a one one that becomes a becomes a one one, but it still has the counters on it. Plus one plus one counters are not an ability. I mean, I'm not a judge, but I'm fairly certain that's what. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, there's been formats where you. Yeah, right, so Flint just took another damage there. What happened? Flint just took damage from Summer Bloom. No, he has a Chasm in play. Doesn't take damage. Oh, from that's true. He can't take damage. You're right. Yeah, I, when I played against him all the time, it's like. That's so yep. I was playing like a red deck and he had Chasm and Plan and he was like tapping his lands to play like, colored spells and I'm like you take a damage he's like no I don't oh, right man. yeah that, that card's he not still loses life from that windstorm teeth though if he if he yes. sacks it he he does have to pay life so I mean did Flint just not have enough lands to kill him. I mean, he, he he definitely does next turn, right? Yeah, One, but... two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, he played the humility first, but then what did he do after that? He played a land, right? So wouldn't you just play a land first and see if you drew the land, and then pick everything up with trade routes and kill him? It's not like, like humility drew a card. I think the summer bloom got him at least two more lands in the play. Oh. Yeah. So. You, Oh, he's... oh, he does have therapy. Okay. Discard. I don't yeah, think he's got no, a discard. No, no, he no, really... no. Yeah. Oh, 
Hope he doesn't right. pay life. <laughs> oh no! I mean, it's, it's a four four then. Yeah. Yeah, but now it's now he's within range. I mean, I guess he was within range no matter what. Yeah. Just thought I was gonna get him. Hope, what are you, what you naming? Um, Mulch. Drop rotation. That's Maybe. probably the card of a name. What's gonna crop rotate for? Another chasm. Because I mean, I think like the flint play to life. Um, oh, he's got a tutor. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it, from Remy's perspective, how do you win this game? I mean, you need to draw yeah, wasteland. a wasteland, and if one has a crop rotation, then that can prevent him from winning. I mean, probably what I would have named. So. So are we maybe missing something here that he's getting another horn of greed? I don't know. Like why? I mean, he's just, he's just know, doing it know. just to do it. I mean, because he probably thought he was going to name a land tutor anyways. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what... he's got twenty on the table, right? With yeah, the... I don't know what Rem... well, I don't know what Flint's afraid that Remy could play that would like not allow him to kill him next. Right. Because if I'm not calling it, he's got 10 lands, right? One. Yeah, 10. Nine, I think. Oh, 10. Yeah, the chasm, I think. Not that one. Sometimes I forget that one's a land. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is just. I mean, maybe he just wants to draw more cards. Technically, oh yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just forgot what size is. Yeah, he's got 11 lands right now. I don't think you need to put that die on there. <laughs> no. I mean, he's just going to slow roll him and just get, do, well, if, if do a couple had, now, do a couple during upkeep. If Remy had open mana... Well, I, was got, saying, I was just saying maybe his... there's a spot where like Funeral Charm might do something, but... He doesn't have spinning darkness or nothing like that. He has no life gain at all. All right, we're just we're just drawing cards. Yes. Maybe he thinks there's like an opalescence in play, and then his <laughs> he's just gonna go for it. His enchantments have no abilities, so he can't use it. So. I'm confused. I don't know. You think? You think you just uh, at this point? I mean, you got the game one. Do you think you just you just take all the creatures and then just get them on the draw step every turn? Just as slow as you can. Grind just slow up. roll it, reveal yeah. two to you, go. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, but I mean, I I think maybe I, maybe it gets old, but I would feel like any time I can kill someone with seismic assault, I would do. Yeah, size we saw trade routes, I would I would definitely do it one at a time though. I wouldn't just be like return all ten of these. So what what are we missing something? I don't think so. Wait, so Did maybe Flint forget he's got trade routes in play, maybe? How good would that be if he's just looking for it right now? Maybe he thinks that like Remy has a glacial chasm in play? <laughs> I'm very confused. That'd be some sick tech if he forgets to play that. But, and, well, yeah, I guess. It, I mean, it looks like he's passing the turn again. He can't be passing the turn. He's got he's got three more lands and six more cards to draw here. See the brass for a damage? No, no. Oh, there's no chasm player. Right? No, so that's a damage. Oh, now he's returning it. There we go. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. Right. I mean, drawing cards is really fun, so I agree, it so. makes sense. He's going to win no matter what, so might as well draw another six or seven, six or eight cards. Maybe he's getting in Remy's head. Is that a... Maybe. All right, so this is the final game. Yep. Um, Remy gets to be on the play. But the way we thought Remy 
what he needed to do. He's not done uh, any any of the games, right? He's led just no. like to rest every time. Or, he's not he's not ritual creature out no. any of the games yet. No. Yeah. He's ritual more. double discarded. I mean, it's yeah. possible that his draws just haven't panned out that way, or maybe he just prioritizes. I mean, I I definitely understand prioritizing the discard because if you get, I mean, there's really only two cards that probably matter the early game. Yeah, and and Flint is going to mulligan to get them in his hand. Yeah. So. You can't really. I mean, light intuitor is kind of. You can't really. You can't on the play. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's like it's interesting because it's kind of like I feel like if you're on the play, then there's more merit to playing the duress turn one as right. compared to. Now, I, honestly, I would change my deck if I was the black player. I would want Cobalt Therapies on the play, um, but I wouldn't want them on the draw. I don't think. And which game Personally. did we see the Cobalt Therapy? We saw it this last game, I think. And who was on the play for that one? Flint was, um, right? Because Remy was, was 2 1. Yep, yeah, Remy was on the yeah, draw there. Yeah. So they're not sideboard in between games, so they're just, just keeping it as is. How often do you go back to your sideboard and just pretend? Every game. Every game. Every game. A mastermind right here. Yep, you gotta shuffle them in. Oh, then the act real, yeah, act real, act like you're like really straining on what you're gonna take out. See, I could do that. Maybe get in the habit because I, I've, if you play decks with like the any of the wishes, it gets really easy to shuffle those wish cards back into your deck, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna living wish for this card. I'm like, oh, I forgot right. to sideboard it out. Or have you ever shuffled? Have you ever put those in and taken the wishes out? No. Like I, I had a couple or you mean like that was how I sideboarded. No, like I could actually do it that way. Yeah. You say inadvertently or on purpose? No, on purpose. You're like you're like I just don't have the time for this witch stuff. I'm just gonna um, just gonna sign them in and start, try to draw them. I don't think I ever have. I mean, there's definitely been times of like cards that I felt like were some of my like I played the the Beast Rock deck against Sly and I brought in the Force Ravenous Bayloth. Because what I thought was, if I needed life, I still had a spike feed, or I still had a spike feeder to get. Yep. So it's not exactly the same thing, but it, I don't know. That's the, I guess the closest I have. All right, so turn I'm on the rest back. again from the exploration here. Exploration, lane tutor, horn of greed, blessing. I guess with with the lane tutor, maybe you get the horn of greed instead. I mean, it might also depend on your hand, but yeah, I think I like taking yeah. exploration because it allows you just more time. I think. Yep. Um, from especially like seeing that hand. Especially if you have another discard card in hand yep. here. Yeah, he's. Well. So. Yeah, like cabal therapy would be. I mean, I guess you'd name. Horn horn agreed. And but he's probably gonna get exploration, or is he gonna put another horn agreed on? Uh, I think he's gonna get horn agreed. Um, but I think it's more important than exploration is. I think he will get Horn Greed as well. It does open him up to... Um, oh. So I, the, the advantage of this is it's it's a safer play. Like, he knows he's going to play the exploration next turn. But if he, if he put a Horn Greed on top, then Remy could have another Duress. He could have a creature and Flashback of Wall Therapy. And then Horn Greed would be gone. So that's, I guess... Th- I think the biggest draw to playing the exploration. I think if he could choose to have either one in play from this spot, he would rather have a horn agreed. But I think he's just afraid of it getting discarded. That's my guess. And nothing else in the black deck. Alright. Are we gonna bless him back our cards? No, nope. Well, I mean, there's a port place. Yeah, you might as well port him. Uh, he's he's clearly got no yeah, no plays can, there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, he could have a ritual and a scuda, and they didn't want to play last turn because he'd rather have a. That's true. 
That's the other thing with this deck is you don't really want to sack any of your creatures to the therapy. That's they're all they're all so good. Like, yeah, but I mean, so I agree that his creatures are good, but um, it's not like the front half is bad because he has four to rest. And right. So it, like it's kind of a free roll. So Guy's blessing is going to put back. It was Horn of Greed, Exploration, and Inlay Tutor. Yep. Yeah, so we know what's in Flint's hand. I shouldn't pay more attention. Yeah, I I can't. I don't think there's I don't think we would know of any action spells um after the blessing. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah, his, the original was exploration, enlightened tutor, horn agreed, and guy's blessing, and yep. those were all either played or discarded. All right, so another port, another exploration, and he's empty-handed. Yep. All right, so now we're going to see Hippie. So do you think Nikki from this spot, Remy is favored? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he just missed a land drop, so... so I mean, he's getting going to get ported twice every turn. He's going to get ported. Oh, okay, there's a Fuel Charm. Oh, so he's going to get the Undiscovered Paradise. So. Yep. That makes sense. I mean, it's never yeah. going to get better than that, right? I mean, no. maybe... It, I mean, Flint's Flint's pretty uh, tied up on mana right now. Mm -hmm. So if he draws any of his cool cards, like Trade Rose or Seismic Assault, he can't really do anything with them. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have the mana to cast them. Yep. So it's actually funny that Remy's almost playing the land destruction here, making him tie up four mana every turn. Sure. He might not even have anything to play. Like, but I mean, who does that advantage more? I mean, I think it's, I mean. An advantage is Remy because he's got dark. Oh, he's got dark rituals in his deck. Oh, the, the wasteland is really good. Yeah. That's, I don't know. You're not a fan. You'd wait for a. I guess it. Source? I guess it. Yeah. I guess it just tells us more about his hand. He's he's probably almost certainly holding. I mean, if he has a shade, Scuda. he could have a shade that he wants to. He could have a shade. Yeah, because that wouldn't be a card you'd be able to cast with the wasteland. Right. I think it's all on these scooters, I think. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a scooter because, I mean, it could be, but I mean, he's, obviously, he knew he was going to, he thought, probably thought he was going to get ported. He just did nothing. Yeah, no land again. I mean, every time we think that Remy's going to apply pressure, nothing comes of it. Right. Maybe those wretches would have been great out of the sideboard just to get. Well, I mean, we've never, we've never seen a hypnotic specter. We haven't, no. We've never seen a negator, have we? Nope. I'm looking at his other creatures here, and Buddha, Shade, yeah, that's it. Negator, and technically Mistress Factories. Here we got, we got Dark Ritual. Yeah, I mean, there's no way he's boarding out that many. Oh, we saw Massacre too. Um, that many creatures, but uh, all right. there's no way he's taking out Hypnotic Factors. There's just no reason to take it out. He just hasn't drawn them. Yeah. All right, <laughs> he's he's going exploring. This is a spot where you yeah. do not want your third exploration. No, you got four land drops and nothing to do with it. So this is almost smooth sailing now for the black deck. Like this is exactly as you want it drawn up. Yeah, I mean the way this game has played out has been exactly how Remy wants things to go. But I mean, right. I don't. I mean, I don't think Flint is like that. Like if he just draws a Horn of Greed. I, that's the best card he could draw. He I doesn't mean, have no land, probably. Yeah, but I mean, then if he draws Horn of Greed and then draws a land, then he's definitely yeah. He could just go draw four cards from that. Negator, here it comes. There we go. All Boom! Right. No fear. <laughs> I feel like I would be pretty comfortable from this spot <laughs> um, playing a negator. Right. So five damage is dealt to Flint. He goes down. In a lane two. Lane two for elephant grass. Uh, that is, yeah. I 
No, I didn't think of the cyber I mean, I, I, but you, you I don't think you actually want elephant grass here because it just ties up your mana. Up your mana. Yeah, so there's more green. Now, how much different would this deck be if you had Light of Day in the sideboard instead of um, Elephant Grass? I mean, Remy does have Mistress Factory and Masticore, but... That's true. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't think there's the black decks are that popular, the aggressive black decks. So, I mean, and four mana is kind of a lot. I mean, this deck... Yeah, four mana in the, 30, in the 30 land deck yeah. that plays six <laughs> lands a turn. <laughs> It's well, really I'm hard saying, to get to. I'm saying if you have it in your opening <laughs> hand, it, right. might get, it might get dressed away before you get to cast. Fair. All right. So we only got, what, five more lands to play this turn? That's what he's hoping. Is this another exploration? Oh, no, it's a chasm. I don't know if that was colorless he's, mana or he's not. He's floating. I mean, the chasm's pretty good here. Yeah, and we've only got one wasteland left in the black deck. That was that was all he needed from he, that one game he won. That's true. But yeah, I mean, like well, from the spot, like. I think you're forgetting about the funeral charm again. That was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The the hidden hidden unsung hero. Yes. But yeah, like. Do you make your opponent say what they're doing with it? Just hope they say <laughs> swap walk. What mode are you choosing? Right. Uh, some opponents I do. Uh, actually, probably most of the time I do. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not that I, I don't know, I just... You just assume, you're like, haha, I have no swamps, nice try, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Flint might actually be favored from this position, which is kind of insane. Yeah. Arena. Arena. And I mean, now, I... he's, now he's just looking for the Wasteland. Yeah. Oh, yep. Only having a one in the deck is... Yeah. yeah. And he, I mean, he's at... He didn't have so a land, right? I mean, right. He, he might be hoping to get the, the spite, too. Um, so that makes a player lose life? Yeah. Well, actually, it's a good call. I'm not sure if it loses life or does it, damage. It, I mean, I feel like it should do... I don't know. Car, old cards sometimes don't do it. Target player so. loses five life. Okay. In Chasm, yep. you can still be targeted. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that's like the perfect one order right there. I mean, obviously not yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Many games have been lost to premature spite. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna at least two at least two cards here. Nice tap in the Mishra's there, to making it so he doesn't have exactly 12 on board. Like, some people might actually just miss that at that point. I mean, are you saying it actually is a good play? I mean, there's a Chasm in play. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but if he draws Wasteland, then he has exactly 12 on board. Oh, he's so, at exactly 12. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. But, I mean, there's a lot of players that might, might just miss that or just... You got Chasm on the board, and you're like, yeah, I can't die. So it doesn't look like Flint drew a land here. Oh, maybe he did. Oh, I guess, I mean, also, like, Factory's a little awkward, like, if... Flint has Dust Bowl mana up. Or he also had Port, too. That's probably another reason why. Well, yeah, he ported it. But he had he had the Dust Bowl. All right, so City of Brass, another path of victory for the Black deck. Uh, not right now. There's a Chasm in play. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Uh, just rubbing it in with tap in the city brass there too. So he's gonna dust bowl now. 
It's not that good. I don't think I would. Like. Oh, humility. Um. Yeah, because I was saying it's not like taking away that one mana is very good for Remy. Like right. he still is able to cast all his spells, and I think the land in play is better for Flint because. I mean, unlikely that it would make a difference, but I feel like it probably does more for Flint than. Oh, he's got Core Haven in play. Oh, he's got no white mana, though. There's a the City Rest. It's just not. It's just him. Right. I'm just trying to count up how many Funeral Charms we need to win this one. Well, and a Wasteland. Yeah. Well, so how much powers do you have in play? There's, they're all 1-1s. One Scooter's a 4-4, four, four, right? Yep. Yeah, so seven. So you get 7. Because Mistress Factory... Factory become a two two or does it become a one one? I don't. It becomes know a two two. Then he'd have eight. Well, now he's got eight. Yeah. No, he'd attack with the shade, the four, negator. Five, that's six. two. Buddha is four, so that's six, and then two more from the factory. Would... It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't be so. The factory doesn't get hit with humility. I don't know. I would if it's if it becomes a two two creature after. I don't know. I guess no. You're right. It's just a static effect. Yeah, it probably is just a one. I'm not sure, but I, you're probably right. All right, sorry, I'm missing two minutes of upkeep. So Flint's at six. Yeah. So it's one more than uh. One more than a spite. Yeah, but I mean the chasm is he's not paying that upkeep again, at least not with that one. Right. So he wants a trade routes or crop rotation. I mean, he gets a lot of cards here. Kind of surprised that the lands deck isn't playing any pyroclasms or anything like that. I mean, I think with the chasms, he just thinks he has creatures under control. Fair. So he's just going to go for the win here? Try to... I don't know. Well, we... probably not because of the last game. <laughs> no, I mean, he sees it. I mean, he is <laughs> a lot closer to dying in this game than he was in the yeah. last one. So Maybe he's just looking for a new Chasm. Yeah, or a Carpet. Yeah, a Carpet. So... Oh. That Sacred, is... Ground. Sacred Ground. So you can't, you can't Wasteland it anymore. Well, you can't... Wait a second here. Sacred Ground's a weird one. It has weird rulings. The green card that was played was... Summer Bloom. You're saying yeah. watching on mute, so maybe you can't hear me. When Lion Tutor gets trade routes, that's pretty good with the Chasm. That's real good with the Chasm, yeah. So, Spite, is Spite an instant? Spite is an instant, oh, yes. Oh, she's still at 6, though. Yep. But, so, I mean, yeah. So, now he's got... Oh, there you go. He got it to draw it right away, too. I'm really surprised he brought Sacred Ground in, I'll be honest. But mm -hmm. just two wastelands on the other side. But, I mean, there were so many positions where we were like, that is the only card that matters. So, if he has four Enlightened Tutors, like, maybe he's just like, I have this game locked up as long as I just don't get wastelanded. Right. So, it's a thought process. I, I think it's reasonable. Right. I'd love to talk to him about what he took out of his deck. To get to this point. Yeah, I think what I plan to do is is usually players kind of chat a bit after done. We'll um, we'll mute ourselves and then we'll just have, we'll listen to them. So the stream sure. can the stream can listen to them chatting about the game and whatever they have to say. And if and then we might come back on to say a few more things. Well, maybe we might get some of that insight of what they did after the match. 
So Wasteland Nets. What? Two more cards. Yep. So is he at, is Flint at nine or six? He's at six. He's at six, okay. Yeah. See, and now the wretch would be great. Wasteland it, then remove it before it comes back. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, one I mean, riser wretch. I yeah. Mean, it definitely seems, I mean, it wouldn't work from this point because there's a humility in play. But um, yeah, it, it seems yeah. reasonable. I mean, yeah, you know, maybe. I mean, I don't know how many levels you're thinking on if you're like, Oh, this is what Flint's gonna do, so I have to kind of respond to that because it's. But it's not. You like just play. Know. You just play one. That's why you just oh, just to okay. be safe. Yeah, that, that's yeah. fair. And I mean, it's not like a two-two for two is that bad in this right. matchup. It's not horrible. He's. I mean, his only two drops are the shades to begin with, which is, which is well, fine. I mean, yeah, the shades are so powerful. Well, yeah. I mean, the, I think the, like, what are the next best cards that you can think of? That he's like, are there black cards for two mana? That like Skittering Scourge is good, but like I think he just has a few too many creatures. Yeah. Um, I mean, for the meta, the meta game was a was a ton of, and then there's he's got so many weird cyber cards that he brought in. You know, like Ivory uh, Mask, or you just you just are more concerned of what did he take out? Yeah, I'm just I'm surprised he brought so many cards in. Um, I mean, he must he must he must have taken some lands out. Like the meta game for this is is just a, is a whole bunch of control decks, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, I would say control and combo. Yeah, so like I mean, Flesh Reaver is like an insane two drop. Yeah, I mean, I have, I technically have not put Flesh Reaver in any of my decks, but I've come very. You've close. not lived. But um, it, the the list I was gonna put it in was a deck with Reckless Charge. So let me tell you, a combo nice. with, with Flesh Reaver and Reckless. He can't Charge. even dress him here, so he's just dressing himself, maybe. Oh no! It's, I think duress is look at target opponent. I don't think you can oh, protect yourself enough. with duress. All right. Yep. Every mask. The more imposing ley line, really. <laughs> the fair ley line. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gotta cast this one. Oh, there's oh, a spike. That, but that that targets, doesn't it? Yeah. He's saying you have to target yourself. I mean, he thought so many levels above. How do I get this? Does it does it target? Target player loses five lives. Target player loses five lives. So he just got himself for five. I think he's Ooh. just conceding at this point. He's pretty much considering. It. I mean, it's pretty much a lock. Like if you look at all those yeah. pieces. Um, I mean, I don't know if Flint said something about like I have a seismic assault or new, but. Um, I mean, eventually he's gonna draw a seismic assault. There's no way he's not gonna get to it. Let's quick. We're gonna mute. Ourselves and and put Fair them enough. on. So. Uh, yeah, with the port. Hmm. I know, I know. As soon as I had it in my hand and you just wasted it, and I was like, okay, I'll play a glacial chasm. I was like, yeah. oh man. Uh. There's the Magnificent Seven that came in. So what you took out? Um, what did I take out? I took out um, Crop Rotate. No, I didn't. Yeah, I took out one Crop Rotation, one Footed, footed foot Hills, one Rashad and Port. Two gamble, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I take out those. So I put in four Cabal Therapy, two Negator, the Spite, and for Cal, the four Spectre. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, four. Where is the four? Uh, yeah, the diabolic edict. Or maybe just three? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, just just three. Yeah. The four edict and three specter. Uh what a match. I know, I, 
trade routes isn't right. Hold on, I must, I must have brought it in one other one. Um, two, two, two. Oh, it was, a, it was actually a crop rotation, is what it was. It was that guy. Yeah, not a trade routes. Yeah, really close games. Really, really yeah. close games. Gosh. And <clears throat> Seriously, I don't care if, if I lost because <clears throat> I have accomplished my goal to make this deck competitive and, and strong. And I played against a lot of different archetypes, combos, control, aggros, and did pretty well. Yeah, it's good. It's it's really good. Um, this, I mean, all, all of those games could have gone either, either way. I mean, even that yeah. game, you know, that you won I had seismic assault, but I didn't have the lands to kill either of your creature in my hand. It was just they, like everything was so close. Yeah. Oh. Well, thanks for the games, Remy. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna have dinner. I've been playing a lot of Magic today, and I think my significant other is probably yeah. fed up. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she likes it when she doesn't have to put up with me. But anyway, yeah. have a good rest of your night. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, um, so I'm going to get Lester back in here real quick, and we were just going to chat real quick. I don't know if okay. anyone's still hanging around in the chat. So, yeah, we got a little bit of a um, picture of their sideboards. Um, right. I mean, I Definitely would, did not think he would ever take out the hippies. That's... Yeah, I mean, I guess I was just thinking that if that's a card you could ritual into and yep. uh, just would deal headaches for Flint, but I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. So that, that match was... It played out. None of the games like played out really. I guess the way they thought. I, there are always points where I'm like, "Oh, Flint's got this locked up," and then like I, I guess I, and then like Remy ended up winning that one game, and then that last game where Flint just had a bunch of expirations in play. I'm like, "Well, I mean, he's definitely not out of it, but I didn't think he was a favorite." And then Glacial Chasm came down, and then Lightning Tutor got a Horn Agreed, or maybe it was the other order, and he just got right back in it. Yeah, he just got back into it. I, I, the black deck. I mean, the black deck didn't really to go down on pressure because he brought in he brought in creatures. Yeah. Um, I think he just his draws were just a little bit weird there. Yeah, I mean, um, the thing that we prioritize, we talked about like richling out a threat, and that it just it didn't happen. That I mean, no. And when it did, it, it wasn't like on turn one or turn two, at least not right. very often. I, I mean, I don't think there ever was a turn one like. Hypnotic Specter or Fade or Negator. So. Right. I mean, the Specters, he, he went down to one, so that's hard to ratio that one off. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Well, there's still two but even ones, so. Even turn two Scudas, we didn't see any turn two Scudas, I don't think, either. There might have been one game, but yeah, it always seemed like yeah. those came down like a turn or two later than I would have expected. Yeah, we were right. always just, we were just ready, like, all right, here comes a ritual and a threat, and it, just, it never was. So. Yep. And to be fair, I really thought that the lands deck at some point would just would try to try to size and assault the creatures out, and then mm -hmm. and then play the longer game. Yeah, and we never saw it either. It was just more of a just a combo. Yeah, I mean, because well, the thing is, like, how many, how much damage do you have to commit the the creatures, and how many more lands do you need to kill them? It's kind of like if it's only like one or two more lands, it's probably not that hard to just not. Kill the creatures and then kill them the next turn. Right. So yeah, I mean the the lands deck brought in what one, two, three, four. I think it was seven cards if I remember. Six maybe. He he didn't bring crop rotation. He took a crop rotation out. I think. Yeah, he said it wooden foothills. I know for sure. He sided out wooden foothills. Yeah, at least one. He sided out foothills and Rishnan and Port. I think right for his lands. So we saw a ivory mask, a humility, a seal of cleansing, a sacred ground. A compost, a compost and an alpha grass, and those yep. that's six cards. So. Yep. Yeah, it was interesting. So, yeah, there are still a lot more quarterfinal matches to play. This was though, they were able to, they were on the same side of the bracket and they had finished their quarterfinals. 
So they played their semifinals. So they're still the next matchup is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, uh, Flint will actually be doing commentary with me, and that will be uh, Michael against Aaron, and Michael's playing Red Green Goblins, and Aaron is playing Fly. So we hope you guys can all tune in. And then the other match that we have scheduled is the other quarterfinals is on Thursday at 8 a.m. Eastern, and um, I have a couple of people lined up potentially for co-casting. I'll let you know when I get that finalized. But that matchup is Jeff White against uh, Felix, and Jeff is playing the Rock, and Felix is playing another Red Green Goblins deck. So some goblins, some red spells are are in the future. You guys are tuning in the next stream. So um, that's the best kind of magic. This is pure magic right there. Good magic. So. Um, Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Um, if you guys want to follow the channel, and um, then you'll, you can get notifications when I, when I go live. But I'm hoping to do some, some more of these streams for the tournaments and maybe continue doing this in the future. But thanks, for everyone. Thanks, Lester, for, for helping out and guessing. I think I, I saw at least one comment that someone liked your commentary. So Nice. Um, um, Give me on the red matches, and you guys will love me. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's the Lester's dream. jam is... He loves a good good red deck. Right. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks again, everyone, and take care.